Hi, my name is Tine Kulenik, I come from Slovenia, Europe, and I'm going to tell you something about chorus and phaser, how they function and how they are used. Both chorus and phaser are based on short delay, but unlike comp filter, they can be and are used much more musically than comp filter. The latter is static, which is why it is hardly used musically, if even, but with chorus and phaser we slowly change the delay time which gives them a musical property, an active effect. They are usually described as being as washes of sounds or making guitar fuller by moving it across left and right speaker. First, let's look at phaser. It represents deep notches in motion, moving through speakers, left and right. The phaser, unlike flanger, has uneven notches throughout the spectrum of your sound. It is often used in psychedelic music as it has this otherworldly, dimensional sound. Listen to my guitar being played through a phaser. <laughs> Now let's look at chorus. Chorus is made out of multiple detuned copies of your original sound. So you have your original sound and multiple copies that change in delay time so that you get multiple voices, almost a choir. Chorus is after all named after that. The important thing is that chorus changes original sound's pitch while going left and right. Here is my guitar using a chorus. Now let's look at some properties of phaser and chorus that can be changed to get a different sound. The first one is the delay time. By setting the value of delay time higher, the original sound's copy will be heard later. You will hear two samples of my guitar, first one with very short delay time and the second one with long delay time. The second property is LFO. LFO means low frequency oscillation and it determines how modulated the delay time is, or in other words, how subtle or huge the effect will be. Hear very subtle chorus with low LFO and very radical chorus with huge LFO on my guitar. <laughs> Then we have feedback. Feedback controls how many times your original sound's copies will be sounded or how long the effect will affect your sound. With small value on feedback there are fewer repeats and with high value on feedback there are more repeats. Here my guitar with delay, with feedback set very low and then very high. The last one is dry wet section. This simply controls how loud will your original sound be and how loud will the affected sound be. This can go from 0% wet, which means that you'll only hear the original sound, to 100% wet, which means that you'll only hear your affected sound, sound that was modified by some effect. Hear my guitar with approximately 20% wet sound using reverb and on 100% wet. I hope I've managed to simply explain and show you how these effects work, how they are used and how to manipulate them. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.